Here we go. You guys are so excited. Movie and Matthew Live, fun facts. And number one about Power Rangers, drum roll, please. Number one, if you did grow up watching Power Rangers after school, you guys will remember that the show was as silly as it was exciting. Now, my favorite part of the show was the fight scenes. Do you guys remember the fight scenes? Now, here's the best part about this. Get this. To keep the cost downs in production for the show, all the action sequences were cut from footage from the Japanese action series Zoo Ranger. So you were watching like two different shows. So laugh all you want, but the Power Rangers creator, uh, Haim Sabin, turned it into a legendary franchise with the cost down. So I, I thought that that was so crazy. Uh, number two, the best news for the fans is that the Power Rangers takes the spirit of the series and the characters that you know and you love and gives everything the new kind of proper big screen treatment. Now, we are talking a whopping, wait for it, $100 million budget. And special effects are insane. Uh, check out the trailer and check it out this weekend. They're off the charts. Uh, number three, Power Rangers stars a quintet of super talented up and coming actors. We've got Mr. Montgomery. We have as the Red Ranger, we have Naomi Scott as Pink Ranger. RJ Kryler is the Blue Ranger. Pop star Becky G, anybody? She is the Yellow Ranger. And Ludi Lin plays Black Ranger. Now, Bill Hader. What? Uh, provides the voice for Alpha and the cherry on top of this Power Rangers Sunday is Elizabeth Banks, who steps into the role of Rita Repulsa, the Power Rangers arch nemesis. Now, number four, Brian Cranston, who plays Zordon, the Power Rangers mentor, gets his own special shout out. And if you are a true Power Rangers fan, like I know you guys are in the thread right now, uh, you will know why. Now, if you don't, this is going to blow your mind. In the original series, back in the day, Brian provided the voices for the monsters, Twin Man and Snizzard. Can you guys believe that? How cool. A, a full circle kind of Hollywood moment. And number five, Power Rangers is directed by Dean Israelite who made his feature film debut uh, with 2015's Project Almanac, the super fun adventure about a, a group of traveling high school kids. Uh, so I think we are in pretty good hands with Dean. And at the helm, the screenplay was written by John Gatins, whose name you may have recently seen in the credits for Kong Skull Island. He also wrote the Academy Award winning movie Flight and real steel. So, boom, there you have it. Five fun facts that could make you guys the most informed Power Ranger of your squad at Regal this weekend.